Hello, I'm Rainy Strang, and I thought I'd share a bit about my mother, the artist Mary Perry Stone. My mother attended the Art Students League in New York City when she was 15 years old in 1924, and later she completed her art education at Trapagan School of Fashion and Design. In addition to going to Trapagan, which she said provided her with a solid fine arts background, she took classes from the sculptor Aaron Goodelman. Like many artists during the Great Depression, she became increasingly concerned with the conditions around her. She herself said when she graduated from Topagan, that's when my troubles began. Mary couldn't find work and had a hard time getting by. Though Mary was primarily a sculptor during the time she lived in New York, all her sculptures lost except for one marble piece completed when she was 21 years old in 1930. In 1934, Aaron Goodelman submitted one of my mother's pieces of sculpture of a young dancer to an exhibit the Metropolitan Museum of Art in Canada. She was given an award, and that recognition probably helped her get on the Federal Arts Project. The Federal Arts Project had been created to help the unemployed, including those who were involved in the arts. It's often referred to as the WPA. Mary was both a children's sculpture teacher and a sculptor during her time from 1937 to 1941 on the New York City Federal Arts Project. She was one of 40 women sculptors employed with the project. This mother and child WPA sculpture was photographed in 1941. Another WPA sculpture done in direct plaster is titled The Bowery. The Bowery was an impoverished area of New York City. In this stone sculpture entitled War, it shows a mother clutching her child. The theme of the horror of war would be one that Mary would revisit time and time again. If you're interested in any more information or want to see more of Mary's work, just type in Mary Perry Stone. Thank you.